your girl ordered a mystery box. Now this time, the mystery box is from Juvia's Place. They have so many really good deals. Like every now and again, they'll put out a mystery box that is super affordable and comes with three products. I'm hoping that this box has another palette in it because that other palette that we got, the Festivals, was amazing. Pigment on point, blendability on point, everything on point. But y'all, that's enough. Let's go ahead and get into this box. The first item that I'm pulling out is the Garden of Juvia's colored liner. Ooh, this is the eyeliner. And this is what it looks like. And it says it's in the color Aqua. I feel like the last box that I ordered came with a blue liner as well. So maybe Maybe they just like get rid of all the stuff that doesn't sell well in these mystery boxes. Ooh, this packaging is nice, bruh. Get into it. Isn't that cute? Now I'm guessing based on the packaging that this is a liquid liner and not like a pencil gel liner that we got last time. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And the bottom is kind of like flat. I like how it goes from like a cylinder to like, I don't, I don't even know what shape that is like a rounded rectangular prism. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, this is so cool. Let me see. I feel like there's some discoloration going on here. Let me mix it up and see. Or maybe that's just the color of the brush. Oh, that might just be the color of the brush. But this is what it looks like. Do a little swatch and see. This liner thing is really hard. Like it's not an like easy to use, like glides over the eye, I don't think. This is what the color is looking like. I mean, that's pretty, it's different. I don't own anything like this and it is a different shade of blue than the other eyeliner we got. This is cool, very different. However, I would say I prefer like a felt tip where the product just kind of comes out of the pen rather than having to dip it in like this because the product won't be evenly distributed. Dis di distributed, distributed. That's how you say that word, distributed. I'm not a fan of this type of eyeliner, but we will give it a try on today and see what it's working with when we actually put it on the eyeballs. The next product is Juvia's Place Glass Lip Gloss. Ooh. And it's in the color Flower Girl. And this is what the packaging is looking like. Very cute. Now, if that is the color, I'm super excited because I don't have a lip gloss that color. Ooh, okay. It is that color. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? I think it goes perfectly with that blue eyeliner that we just got. Isn't that pretty? Let me take the plastic off so you can really see it. The struggle is real. This thing does not want to come off. Like the perforated edge really isn't perforating. This is what it looks like with all of the little plastic off of it. I think this little design over the cap is so freaking fun and cute. It's like a goldish color. You can't really tell in the camera. It looks more brown, but this is gold. Hopefully it has a smell. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. I don't know why, but that is so satisfying. Ooh, this smells like sugar cookies. Yeah, that smells absolutely amazing. Let's see. Ooh, okay. And you actually get pigment. You get pigment when you put it down. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Usually when you get like the lip glosses with the shimmers and stuff, you're not really seeing too much shimmer. Like you might see a few specks here and there. This one, you see the pigments, okay? You see the color. You see that shift? That is so freaking pretty. Love this. And it smells like freaking sugar cookies. And the last item is a palette, okay? They do your girl good by giving us a palette. And this thing is massive. And this is the Garden of Juvia's. This is what it looks like. Very, very pretty and cute. Hopefully there's a color story that works really well with these blues that we've gotten. And this is what the packaging is looking like. Basically the same as the outer packaging. And let's see. <gasps> Ooh, this is perfect. Okay, this palette is absolutely perfect. No mirror, okay? We don't need a mirror, all right? Just put a pretty, pretty black woman up there. We're good. And this is the color story. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pastel, very spring. These are perfect perfect spring colors. And I don't have anything that has like these particular colors in it. I don't know, we're gonna try something fun. We're gonna try something fun, very light and just colorful today. Cause this is the color palette we're working with. I think it's gonna go very beautifully
beautifully with the other two products that I received. I'm gonna go ahead and do the base of my face and I will be right back to test this bad boy out. All right, and I'm back. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the eyes. I am gonna try something a little different. So hopefully it works out and doesn't look a hot mess like that last time I tried something different. We're not going for clown, okay? We're going for springtime. To start off, I am going to put Peony as my transition shade. Jovia's place shadows just go on like a freaking dream. Like look at how pretty that is. Super easy to blend out. Like I really am not doing that much in regard to blending this out. Like I'm just placing it and then just shoop, 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 shoop. All right, our transition has been laid. Now I'm gonna switch to a more densely packed brush and I'm gonna go into Lucky Clover. It's a really pretty shade right here. And I'm gonna put that in my outer V going into my crease. Now this is where it gets a little scary because I want it to look good and not a murky, murky mess. Now, if you want these shadows to really pop, then your best bet is to use a white base. Now, I personally don't have a white base. We working with what we got. Without adding anything to my fluffy brush, I'm just gonna diffuse that out and try to blend that in. Okay, it looks like a springtime bruise. Uh, hopefully the shimmer will pull this look together. For my shimmer shade, I'm gonna go into Money Tree. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I'm in love with this shimmer. Just absolutely stunning. And it's going on nicely with a brush, like. Bruh. You know your shimmers is shimmering when it goes on nicely with a brush. And you gotta use my finger, like I get my fingers started. That looks so freaking pretty. I think the pink is kind of disappearing. So I'm gonna go back into Peony and just kind of reintroduce that pink with a nice fluffy, fluffy brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Julia's Place and Ace Beauté are that girl. Okay, when it comes to pigments, if you're looking for something that's gonna give you the pigments that you want, Ace Beauté and Julia's Place. I'm going to put this really pretty purple, which is called Lilac U. I'm gonna sweep that underneath. Oh yeah, we're looking very unicorn today. I might have to change my outfit to match this eye look. And guess what? It's early enough, Justin can take me somewhere. Okay, he can take me on a date. It's just a nice little subtle dimension to the look. Very pretty. Now I do wanna blend this edge out a little bit better cause it's looking a little hard. I'm gonna go into Blooming, this really pretty shimmer, purple, lilac-y kind of color. And I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. Oh yeah, that's pretty. To add just a little bit more detail to the look, I'm gonna go into Daffodil and I'm just gonna put that in my brow bone to kind of add some more flair to the look. Okay, just a little, little something, something. All right, I think we're done with the palettes. Very beautiful, blends out like a freaking dream. The colors look good, they don't look murky. Okay, we don't want murky murk. They don't look murky, so that is good. I'm going to use another Juvia's Place product, but this one we got in the last mystery box. And this is the Nubian Eyeliner Midnight Blue. And I'm gonna just use this to, I guess this is called tight lining. I don't know, maybe that's what, is that what it's called? Tight lining? Just to ensure that the look is is nice and deep and dramatic. You see how that makes a difference? It also makes like my lash line look a little fuller when I do that. We're gonna go underneath the eye as well. Add in the drama. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry. That's the one thing I don't like about doing like the eyeliner right in there is that it makes my eyes water up so bad. Now I'm gonna go into this eyeliner that we got in our mystery box and see if I can make it do what it do. Cause I'm a little scared about this. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Yeah, I prefer a felt tip because this is a little difficult. I'm not gonna do too much with this because I don't wanna jack up the eyeliner look, not eyeliner look, the look with the freaking eyeliner. So I'm just, I'm not gonna do the most. Are they sisters? Absolutely not. They're more like cousins, okay? And we're just gonna have to be okay with that. All right, next I'm just gonna spray, do a little spritz, spritz, spritz to set everything in place. Oh my God, did I get some in my eye? Oh my God. Whew. Next, I'm gonna use my magic extensions. Y'all already know, this is that girl, but I did wanna use this this one because we really like the max stack. I wanna see which one I like better. I probably should do like a side by side cause that'll really tell you. 
like which one is that girl and which one is you know the girl underneath the girl because they're both that girl let's be serious and y'all i do see a difference using that lash serum because my lashes usually don't look this good like even with the max stack it usually does not look this good i'm super excited to see what my lashes are going to look like after using it for like a month no okay i think it's okay i think we're okay they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Round two. Ooh, yes. Thousand percent yes. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna have to do them side by side to tell which one I like best. Because honestly, just looking at them, I'm just like, bruh, this is so good. Just like the Mac stack, it's so good. I'm gonna have to do one eye with each and see side by side which one I like better. Because right now, I can't tell. They're both amazing. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a lip line with this. I don't really have a lip liner that I think would go well with this lip gloss. So we're just gonna rock with our natural, natural lips. This smells like sugar cookies and I'm here for it. It's so pretty. Like I was worried that it was gonna make my lips look really blue and like I haven't gotten any oxygen for the last five minutes. I think it looks cute. That is so pretty. Like you can see the shimmers. It's comfortable. I'm not getting the little webs between my lips. It feels really good and it smells divine. Literally smells like sugar cookies. This is the final look. I think I look very spring, very, very vibrant and colorful and girly. It's giving unicorn and I'm here for all of it. This is a really good palette. I am excited to continue using the palette. I'm excited to use this even more because it just smells so good and it feels really comfortable. The eyeliner, probably not gonna be reaching for her unless I'm doing like a graphic kind of look because I mean, it's cute, but it's not really my go-to. I like a good black liner. So this one, it's nice to have in the collection, like just in case, you know, you're doing a funky challenge and you want to challenge yourself then yeah, this will be a really cool eyeliner to use. But as far as reaching for her every day, it's just not gonna happen. I will definitely be playing around with this palette, especially since springtime is upon us. So pretty. Actually, isn't it already spring? Springtime is already here. Summertime is upon us. I don't know, but I'm using this all spring and summer because this is absolutely gorgeous. So let me know what y'all think of the look I came up with. And did you guys order the Juvia's Place mystery box? I don't know if it's still on sale. It might be. I think I paid like $18, including like shipping and all that for this mystery box. And I think it's worth it. This palette alone is worth over, you know, $18. Let's be serious. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.